Nikki Haley doesn't believe that America is a racist country. But listen to what Joy Reid said of the reason why you lost last night, or came in third. Listen. The elephant in the room, she's still a brown lady that's got to try to win in a party that is deeply anti-immigrant. It's still a challenge. I don't see how she becomes the nominee of that party with Donald Trump still around. I can't picture it happening. Maybe it could happen. Ron DeSantis' only argument for staying in it is he's the white guy that he can still make the appeal to white people. Well, do you agree with her interpretation of the results? I mean, first of all, I mean, Joy Reid lives in a different America than I do. I mean, yes, I'm a brown girl that grew up in a small rural town in South Carolina who became the first female minority governor in history, who became a U.N. ambassador and who is now running for president. If that's not the American dream, I don't know what is. You can sit there and give me all the reasons why you think I can't do this. I will continue mm -hmm. to defy everybody on why we can do this and we will get it done. Are you a racist party? Are you involved in a racist party? No. We're, we're not a racist country, Brian. We've never been a racist country. Our goal is to make sure that today is better than yesterday. Nikki Hell is wrong. Not only am I going to prove that she's wrong, I'm going to use her own words to prove that she's wrong. I got one, two, three, four instances that prove that Nikki is just not telling the truth. And for number five, I'm going to use one of her running mates as an example. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to prove to you how the Democrats and the Republicans get it so wrong on race. This is going to be fun. First of all, Nikki Haley ain't even Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley's real name is Nimarada. Nimarada Nikki Randhawa Haley. Why not use your first name? We all know the reason why. Right? Or at least I could take a guess. Because America's not racist, right? It says here that Nikki Haley was born in Murata Nikki Randhawa at the Bamberg County Hospital in Bamberg, South Carolina to immigrant Sikh parents from Amritsar, Punjab, India. Now, Nikki may try to maintain that this is not show that America's racist. Breaking news, folks, breaking news. Donald Trump just put out a post on Truth Social, you know, his social app, where he called Nikki Haley by her real name. Well, her full name. He misspelled it, but Trump called her Nimrata instead of Nimrata. But, yeah, I wonder why he did that. It wouldn't have anything to do with race now, would it, Nikki? I mean, Nimrata. I told you this was going to be fun. I should have also told you it's going to be really easy. Number two. Nikki Haley's father was a biology professor at Voorhees College in Denmark, South Carolina. Now, Voorhees College is a historically black college. In 1904, the school's name was changed to the Voorhees Institute for Colored Youths kind of hard to get it wrong that it was a black school for black kids. Nikki Haley can pretend that she doesn't know that America's racist, but it's going to be hard to pretend that you don't understand why your dad taught it in HBCU or why America has HBCUs. It's because America's racist and black students weren't allowed to go to school with white students because white people thought black people were inferior and they didn't want black people in school with their kids. And that, folks, is racism. Her dad taught at a school, so she had to know that. Number three. For this one, let's use Nikki Haley's own words. In the same video where she says America has never been racist, she points out times that America was racist. I mean, first of all, I mean, Joy Reid lives in a different America than I do. I mean, yes, I'm a brown girl that grew up in a small rural town in South Carolina who became the first female minority governor in history. We're, we're not a racist country, Brian. We've never been a racist country. Our goal is to make sure that today is better than yesterday. Are we perfect? No. But our goal is to always make sure we try and be more perfect every day that we can. I know, I faced racism when I was growing up. 
Kill Me's face says it all. Look at him. He's like, Jesus Christ, lady, stop talking. Shut up. I won't be able to save you. But I can tell you today is a lot better than it was then. This is too easy. I mean, this is too, too easy. Number four. In this clip, once again, we got Nikki Haley herself describing a time in which America was very racist towards her. I don't know how she forgets this. I mean, she just told this story this year. Somebody came to my mom and said, you should put your girls in. And so my parents asked us and my sister and I were like, yeah, we'll do that. So we, they put us in the pageant and it was at a time where they had a white queen and a black queen. And so they ended up going to my parents and said, we have to disqualify your girls. And they said, why? And they said, well, you know, we can't put them on, on the white side or the whites will be mad. And if we put them on the black side, the blacks will be mad. And so we don't have a place for them. And so they disqualified us. And my mom said, well, you know, Nikki's really been working on her song. Can she at least sing her song? Because it was a talent component to it. And they said, yes, she can sing her song. The song, I'm not kidding you, it was This Land is Your Land, This Land is My Land. I mean, you can't make that up. I'm beginning to think that Joe Biden isn't the only person running for president who shouldn't be running for president. Number five. Now, number five is different. It's a running mate. See, in Iowa, Vivek Ramaswamy spent a whole lot of money. Millions and millions of dollars. He spent all of his political capital in Iowa to try to win Iowa. That was his only chance. And his wife talked to some people in Iowa to find out why they weren't supporting him. And the answer is the epitome of racism. So what, are, what do people say gives them, like, oh, I can't vote for him because what are the things that they tell you? What, what answers can I help you provide? Or just well, the only one I've had, and I don't even, couldn't even remember who said that to me, but they mentioned that in the skin, you know, and they think, well, I'm sorry, yeah. Wait. And yeah. so I kind of set them free on that, what they believe, yeah. I thought I was covering for it, I don't know, but, yeah. um, and I thought it was fair, not much we can do about that one. Well, yeah, you know. So yeah, I could have went with stuff that was historical, cop shootings, medical, malpractice issues, driving while black, walking while black. I could have used all these instances, right? I could have used hate crime stuff, statistics, numbers, facts, data, all this stuff, I could have just used it. But I felt it was more real if we used actual things out of Nikki Haley's mouth, things that she experienced, so as she told, it shows that, yeah, yeah, America's racist. See, America has racism in it, just like an apple pie has apples in it. That's why we call it an apple pie. And that's why we call America racist. There's other things in an apple pie besides apples. There's sugar, there's cinnamon, you know, there's flour. Same thing with America. There's greed, there's corruption, there's love, there's humor, but there's also racism. Now, last but not least, I want to make sure people understand that I'm not just saying this is about the Republicans. Bonus. Folks, the Democrats and Republicans play this game with race. Remember, always remember, Kamala Harris said this. I don't think America is a racist country, but we also do have to speak truth about the history of racism in our country. It sounds almost exactly like what Nikki Haley said. And when Kamala said that, she was backing up Joe Biden, who made a similar statement. America is not a racist country. When I think about it, I, I think we all would agree that while um, it is part of our past and, and, the, and we see vestiges of it today, we should also be committed collectively to not letting it define the future of our country. So whether it's Republicans or Democrats, they all play games with race. Democrats, they'll say America's racist, but they won't do anything to try to fix it. But they want to get votes because, hey, we admit America's racist. And Republicans deny that there's racism. 
And that's the way they get votes because their base or their most of their supporters don't believe that racism is a thing. Unless you're talking about discriminating against white men. Then it's racist to them. That's the only racism they believe in then. There are people that are calling out Nikki Haley who don't have the guts or didn't have the guts to call out Kamala Harris or Joe Biden when they said almost exactly the same thing. And that's not racist. It's just hypocritical. Very hypocritical. For TBTV, I'm Tim Black, and this has been another edition of Calling It Out with Tim Black. Oh, Nimrata. <laughs>